This is Campbell Wrestling, and they've just invited me to tour their facilities. I'm going to show you where the wrestlers train, how they lose weight, and what they do to relax. So let's stop stalling and get on with the tour. Hey, Scotty. What's well, going on? Welcome to the creek, man. Let's check out the place. I see first all the trophies. Got a couple new ones. Yeah, we might have to get a bigger stand, but we'll keep adding to it. We're running out of room up there, but... Um, yeah, first thing you see here is just the championship culture. All these trophies, 2022 there in the back is the newest one. Are there any trophies that like stick out in particular to you that are like, you know, that was one of my favorite tournaments or, or any big moments from these tournaments? Yeah, I would say probably the last championship we had, we had lost the regular dual season. So we went there and, and we punched a lot of guys in the finals. A lot of guys had to um, overcome their seed in order to win the tournament. So mm -hmm. everything had to go right for us and we had to do plus on top of that. So that was a really big uh, conference championship for us. Well, that's awesome. And we see some of these guys up here from, from the history and four years in a row, first is, is one of these. What a team, what a team. And let's, let's check out um, over here in the mats. So these are kind of brand new mats, right? Yeah, they're new mats. And what we do is we put two sections of foam underneath. So what we found is when we added that foam, there was a lot less knee injuries, particularly for our upper weights. So, um, you, you'll kind of see the cushion a little bit. Yeah. And we got brand new wall mats coming in. Um, you actually helped design those back in the day. Um, so that'll be coming in sometime in December and, and uh, we'll just keep adding to this thing. This graphic up here too is, I think, super cool um, with the, the guys popping out, right? The, the All-Americans uh, on, on the wall. So talk to me about some of these guys that have been you know, a big part of Campbell's history and success. Yeah, so I mean, first and foremost, you have Nathan Kreiser, who was the first NCAA All-American for Campbell. That was back in 2017. Um, and then you have a lot of guys from the year that uh, COVID actually canceled that are NWCA All-Americans. Um, you know, down from Gonzer, who's on our staff right now, to Jerry, the Viking Hino, Quentin Perez, who's now um, actually out, still competing at, uh, in Stanford, so he's a part of their RTC there. Um, you got Andrew Morgans, who's with Spartan Combat uh, at Cornell, and you got Josh Heil, who's on staff here too. Um, all great wrestlers, and in the backdrop, you just have the history um, from Campbell Wrestling from way back in 1968. Well, some of these guys right now, they're actually with the recruit across the road. We weren't allowed to have those guys in the picture, but uh, this is the assistant coaches' offices. It's nice because they're all right here and they can bounce ideas off of. You got Gonzer, you got our media guy, uh, Matt Mims, um, Josh Heil right here, and Wynn. So, uh, you know, whenever we meet collectively, we can kind of meet right here. You can see the poster we got uh, just the yeah. other day. But yeah, just a great workspace to, to, to get things done and, and to kind of brainstorm and, and push forward. So talk to me a bit about the schedule this year. I mean, th this is a heck of a schedule that you have all, all your home dual meets. Uh, this, I mean, this has to be one of the most exciting home dual seasons that you've had in, in a few years. Are you excited about it? Is the team excited? Oh yeah, we're excited. And, and there's a lot of cool events planned around these, these dates. So, um, you know, really blessed to have these guys want to come out and compete against us. I think it's really uh, telling about the type of program we have and what they think about you know, our team uh, to, to put us on their schedule and want to scrap. So starting out with Michigan and North Carolina. Michigan obviously had a great NCAA run this past season. North Carolina right up the road, they're doing a great job. We got Virginia coming back again. We got Nebraska coming here, which is which is great. Um, and then you have the Chippewa Challenge, which is neat. And then you have a couple, you know, conference matches. But a lot of really good opportunity. and you know, home field advantage, and, and that's really important. Yeah, for sure. I, I think you mentioned the Nebraska match too, which is cool. Like, I don't know the last time I've seen like a Big Ten team and a SoCon team wrestle. So like, that's really exciting to me uh, to be able to see that along with all these other duels, you know, I mean, Michigan as well, right? Another Big Ten team. Uh, but tell me, who, who's, uh, who's on the poster here? Oh, that's that's uh, Big Tone, Anthony Moulton. So uh, the marketing team did a great job on this. Um, they wanted to kind of showcase, they try to have the same kind of idea for each poster uh, each year for each team. And so this one was the facelifts athlete. So uh, really hard to do in wrestling because you don't wear a mask. <laughs> right. Um, so they found a really great way to kind of, you know, have that, you know, represent all wrestlers a little bit, have that, that white pop. I think they did an excellent job. So what's that over here? Oh, we just got a new mat. Uh, so Octagon mat, it's actually in storage right now here on campus. All of our home duels are going to have this mat. And we're actually gonna surround the mat with uh, mat side seating. You can actually get season passes. And so you'll have our entire fan base around the entire mat. Might be one of the best mats in <laughs> college wrestling. Where do you, where do you work? Where, where's your office? So I'm, I'm down there on the other side of this training room. 
Yeah, so right here, um, you know, it's nice because we'll be able to have meetings in here and, and meet with the guys, and, and sometimes we'll meet with the guys individually, sometimes as a staff. Um, sometimes if, if I'm if it's a, a big guy, it might just be me, the big guy coach and, and the athlete, but uh, you know, everything right here uh, to, to be able to kind of go over things, go over plans, and, and uh, get things done. You like getting things done, sitting behind the desk, or being out on the mat better? <laughs> Everybody likes being on the mat. That's the fun part of the job. So right here, um, we have the members who support the program. So can you talk to me about who these guys are, guys and gals, and, yep. and w like why they're so important to the program? Yeah, so the Campbell 100 are donors who commit to giving $1,000 over the course of that season. So um, there's a lot of incentives to be a part of that. Uh, you, you get special gear, special perks, special video, behind-the-scenes footage. Um, all sorts of great stuff, but really these are the people that make this building possible, our travel possible, us to be able to kind of, you know, bring in a Michigan, bring in a Nebraska, put on a show, and uh, so it's really important because, um, you know, it takes money to do things <laughs> to be competitive sometimes, and, and uh, these guys really have helped us kind of take leaps and bounds forward. Can you just talk to me about what's going on in this room? Yeah, so I mean, uh, we actually just got these brand new bikes, these Aerodynes here about two weeks ago. Um, we put the new weight room up about a week ago. You know, and here we do a lot of things right after practice. We're, we're hitting the Aerodyne, we're getting our conditioning in, our guys are sweating. Um, and this is actually 24 hour access for just our wrestlers. So um, they can swipe in any time in the morning, at night. Um, nobody will bother them. They can turn the heat up and, and, and get a workout in, which is important. Partly for just getting in shape, partly for, you know, weight management. And uh, it's nice to have our own facility where we don't have to mix with anybody and we know we can, we have the equipment right here whenever the guys need it. That's really cool. So do you have like a lot of guys that you use it for those after hour workouts? Like coming in here when kind of nobody knows what's, you know, nobody knows they're in here, you have a lot of guys doing that? Oh, absolutely. One of the things we always preach is national champs do more. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is the bare minimum. If you want to be special, you got to do more. You know, there's, there's no correlation between doing less or doing what everybody else is doing and accomplishing greater things, right? You always got to be pushing yourself. So, you know, this is just one way they can do it. You'll see as we walk around, we have weights, you have conditioning, you have, there's so many different ways to just improve. Yeah, for sure. So like with these workouts, with like a, a bike workout, what's one of the toughest workouts? Like if, if I hop on here, what's one of the toughest bike workouts that you do with the guys? We have like a 20 minute one uh, that okay. just kind of changes the intervals and, and, and the rest periods. Um, we have a lot of them written up where guys, if they, they don't know what to do, they don't want to ask, boom, there's something they can point at and do. Um, but yeah, we, we hit some 20 minute ones that are, that are pretty, uh, pretty tough. Some of the other cool things too are these treadmills, um, you know, not your traditional treadmills. What's going on over here with this, oh, <laughs> with this, this treadmill? One. Man, Wynn when, when Mahal like, loves this thing, but uh, basically you don't have to turn it on. You can change the incline of it and it just goes with, with, with your speed. So um, you don't have to set anything up. You can just jump on it and start running, you know? Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I, I love this treadmill. <laughs> That's really neat. I like the curve of it. Um, you know, you got this, then you got the stair stepper over here. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the, the weight rack down there. Yep, we got new weights coming for that, but uh, we just put that one in, you know, last week. Uh, put the flooring in, got that set up. Um, our weight room, they actually bought brand new uh, equipment for us, so we just stole that. We ripped it out and stole it for ourselves and shoved it over here. But um, for us, it's everything we need. I, I noticed when we were walking around some of the uh, equipment down there at the at the end and I, I want to look at that in, in a second but first there's this kind of neat lounge room that you guys have and uh, let, let's go over there oh and by the way this is a very cool shot right here w what's the significance of? yeah this is Josh Heil at the NCAA tournament um, what I think is cool about this is kind of goofy is one of my one of my former wrestlers uh, Colton Shorts who you know actually yeah is in the backdrop from Cal Poly. So I came here from Cal Poly to Campbell. So I really think it's neat that, that I have both. And believe it or not, I was actually at Cal Poly when Josh visited and the head coach at the time announced uh, that he was be going to beat the streets. Uh, and then the next weekend after us, Josh had his visit to Campbell. And so we both kind of came into Campbell at the same time, which is, which is pretty neat. But that's why I think this picture is special.
what are the guys doing here? Is this where they study? Do they yeah. hang out in here? Or? Both, both. So. You know, that's the one thing I love about our facility. It's all inclusive. It's got everything from, you know, being able to study uh, to, to hanging out here, to watching videos. Sometimes they'll set their games games up on there. I actually have an arcade machine coming. Um, and then now after weightlifting, because we weightlift over here, we got a brand new weight room that they just built over here. Uh, so this is our first year in it. Um, you know, they can come in here and make their protein drinks and stuff that, that, that the weight training coach has for them. So um, they're all in different plans. You have the guys trying to get big, gain weight, the guys, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. trying to recover. I mean, um, so we, you know, they have a shake depending on you know, what we're trying to have them do for right after weightlifting. So they can come in here and, and drink and socialize and hang out a little bit. And the massage chair, this thing gets a lot of use. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's come check this out. Yeah. Uh, what's neat about that, it gets the bottoms of your feet, it gets your hands. And so, you know, when we're banging these guys' bodies up, they'll, they'll come in here, you know, before practice and kind of get a little rub down. I love this. That, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, I'm sure it's very good for muscle recovery. So what's some of the equipment that you have going on here? It's like some, some kind of Ninja Warrior type. Yeah, again, uh, I just, we keep preaching, right? National champs do more. So, yeah. um, you know, there's no excuse to not get stronger. You have the endless ropes here. Uh, you do poles for time. That tape kind of measures where you're at and how many rotations you've done. You got different grips for pull-ups for back. We got the heavy balls. We got the Bulgarian bags. You name it, we got it, right? Yeah. Um, no, so, cool. so guys are always in here doing extra. Um, you know, we try to put them through, you know, teach them. And then, you know, I like to see when guys are just hitting it on their own, you know, yeah. here for another 20 minutes. Or, you know, I get in here early and somebody's, you know, putting work in. And those are things that excite you as a coach. I see a lot of those kind of workouts you alluded to earlier, like on the board. Get ready, get in here, get going. Back points, back points, back points. Why is that written on the board? Oh, that's just something we're, we're working on right now. Kind of the philosophy is, you know, back points are worth twice as much as a, a takedown. So, um, you know, we're really working on our transitions right time, you know, right now. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing we do is we have a message each each week or two weeks of, of what we're about, you know. This is kind of the time where everybody's, you know, really sore and beat up. So right now it's, you know, pain's a gift, you know. Um, instead of avoiding it, learn to embrace it. Without pain, there's no growth. So. Something we just always want to preach because yeah, you do a lot of you know work physically on these guys, you do a lot of technical work, but really what makes a difference in college wrestling is like the work you do between their ears. Mm -hmm. If they have the right messages going on, you know, those are the guys that are really gonna to, to, to take leaps forward. So we we really spend a lot of time there with our guys. What else goes into that mentality like of the program, of the culture of Campbell wrestling? Yeah, so it all kind of shapes around creek mentality, right? That's that's something that we preach that the guys understand. It's you know, pride, professionalism, relentless pursuit, and, and you could break it down seven ways to Sunday uh, with, with different quotes, but that kind of just kind of sums it all up. And and really what that philosophy is is you're always looking for the next best thing, right? You're always trying to better yourself just like a creek it runs and it flows it never stops one direction forward to something greater an ocean a river a, a whatever right so um, that's something we're always preaching with our guys that they understand uh, and that's why you know it, it, your eyes always got to stay forward you always got to keep working see you on two one two see you let's head out and uh check out the locker room now I always do this turn the lights off you get some little show that's cool that's cool i love it i mean this is this is first class right here to to have guys come in. I'm sure the recruits all love it too. Um, I see it in some of your recruiting materials. Th these guys are sitting in front of the lockers and um, so t talk to me about like this locker. Yeah, so first of all, you have the little plugins for your phones, right? So you focus on practice when you're in practice, you plug your phone in here. It's got the USB plugins. This is supposed to aerate it a little bit. Um, and uh, it just shows you the support of our administration here. I mean, they're 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 fully backing us, and and you know they expect us to, to to win, and they treat us like a championship program. And when you're treated that way, it makes you want to perform that way. So um, when I first got here, there was like 25 lockers. We used to play dodgeball to compete to see who got their own locker and who had a double up. And so now we had enough for each guy in the team. We busted this out. This is where the captains are. Um, you know, captains are voted on and they kind of decide who gets to, to be in here. Um, we have messages that just go up, just motivational messages to kind of live by. You know, again, that creep mentality, a lot of these things that kind of sum it up here. Um, but they'll see these right messages just going in their head all the time. And those captains, uh, what goes into deciding who those captains are and 
leading the team? Yeah, so I mean, first of all, we had it was a group vote, right? So it's the guys you look up to as leaders, and 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 it's guys that are doing the right things in the practice room, competing hard, training hard. You know, guys they go, you know, have that expectation to go out and win. And then more importantly, it's the guys that are taking care of business off the mat. You know, living the li right lifestyle, the creek mentality lifestyle. Guys that you can look up to, because a leader is somebody you look up to. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we can all agree that we're going to look up to the guys doing the right things, eating right, living right, training right, doing extra. You know, picking their teammates up. And really, it's a responsibility. Those guys have the role of of not just always living to that super high standard, but to pull guys up with them. And, and so, really, it's a selfless job a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you, you're really focused on you know, being at the highest standard. What is the ultimate goal with Campbell Wrestling? Is it winning the SoCon title? Is it winning national titles? What's no, the man, goal we want to have national yeah. champs, all Americans. You know, our goal is to be a top 10 program each and every year. You know, these last three, four years, we've kind of floated in that top 25 range. And it's time to, 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 to take a leap forward, you know, which is why you're seeing, a, you know, the strength in our schedule. And, and uh -huh. really, I, I expect to beat these schools and, mm -hmm. and be competing with these schools. And so, um, you know, the conference tournament, yeah, look, I, we're going to win that every year, right? That's, uh, we're going to battle and do that. That is important. That's part of the process. But, um, you know, we expect to win these big duels. Mm. We, you know, we expect to put guys, multiple guys on the stand each year. And so um, until that happens, I'm not going to be happy, you know, and I want that to happen, you know, continuously each and every year. You talk about like doing things right on and off the mat. One thing that I think is kind of cool, and I'm, I'm going to hit the lights for this, is you have this ping pong table, which... Um, goes a little, a little bit more into that relaxing state, kind of the, the camaraderie and building up the teammates. Can you, can you talk to me about this, this ping pong table? Yeah, so um, win at everything, right? So right now, you know, this is just something we, we, we put in here and it gets more and more competitive where, uh, I mean, guys are pretty good. I mean, I bought a $99 paddle for this thing and it's paid its, it's, paid its dividends for me. Wow. Um, but no, this is something, you know, before practice, you know, before you get on the mat and start rolling before practice, something to just kind of let loose and hang out. And, you know, each of these guys are trying to find a way to beat me. They just, they can't figure <laughs> it out. So uh, it, it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of fun. As the guys sitting in here, um, you know, as as Sebastian Melguizo's getting ready to, you know, get out there and wrestle and, and he's sitting here thinking before the match, can you talk to him about like, What's this atmosphere like in the locker room before a dual meet? For the most part, our guys are pretty reserved. Uh, you know, they like to kind of find their own space and get pumped. Um, we have a couple guys that like, need to stay loose. So like JoJo, for instance, he wants to be joking and playing a little bit. So sometimes you got to kind of keep them away from other guys. Um, and then other guys, they, they take it really seriously. Like uh -huh. this, this means a lot to them. So for them, they just want to find that, that zone, get away from it, focus on their wrestling, not worry about what's going on in the mat. And what's nice is, you know, we compete right out these doors. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, our guys can find that space they need to be in before they compete. And, you know, when it's time for them to go, they can just run right out there and shake hands, right? They don't have to get distracted by the environment or anything like that. So the home field advantage is, is, is great here. You know, it's kind of set up where we don't have to travel a distance and it's right there. And we run right out, right through here. That's awesome. Um, they bring that down, you have the octagon mat right there in the middle. You have our alumni, uh, some of our alumni up there are big donors, and then you have the season ticket holders surrounding the mat on that octagon mat. Um, but like I said, I mean, we're right here. Uh, we'll have video playing in there that's kind of showing what's going on so they know when to get ready. We'll have one of the coaches back there kind of letting them know, you know, hey, third period, hey, second period, or um, so that mm -hmm. way they're, 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 they can mentally kind of prep. Um, but yeah, huge home field advantage here. Yeah, no, that that's awesome. And appreciate you showing me around, Coach. I think we could give me the recruit treatment and, and, and get me in a singlet and, and, and show kind of what it's like to be a recruit here. Let's do it. How awesome was that singlet shoot? Almost as awesome as all these behind the scenes videos and interviews I got while I was here. You can check out the full playlist of those. Until then, I wanna thank the Campbell Wrestling staff for having me on campus. Go Camels.